The morning device may be our one and only chance to reach an Asco and save Dazra. Not looking for company right now. Just trying to survive one more day. You have been clear to buy from me, so what are you waiting for? Well, look who it is. Dazra's very own guest of honor. You must have friends in high places, as I have been authorized to trade with you. I have some impressive firepower on offer. Of course I do. Now, what are you buying? They will not know what hit them. Serpents keep you. Foolish, Victor. The High Council needs access to the power grid if we hope to restore the city. Your inability to provide a legitimate excuse for denying them will only last so long. Victoria is right. I know you're angry, but you can't let personal matters interfere with what may be best for everyone. Personal matters? This is a Ministry of State matter, and I will handle it as I see fit. He is a traitor. He turned his back not only on his family, but on our people's entire belief system. The fact that he still breathes is a stain upon the House Vethal name. You would doom us all with your pride. I will do as I please as head of this house. If you are not a member of House Bethal, you do not belong here. Another High Council lackey come begging? I told Lovick no more! Forgive my brother. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is a Nazgul's chosen. You recall Lovick sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised. And we do not need help. Especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely. Which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. 
My nephew Varric has left. And until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the Council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. Of course not. You are an outsider. You have no understanding of our house. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric? Yes, you said so yourself. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if he's become promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. Servant, give me strength. You both speak truth. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Vindicator, are you well practiced in discretion? I have heard reports on Ryujin from the Ministry of Conjunction. This news gives me hope. As Vittoria mentioned, my son, Varric, has left. Essentially, he has abandoned his post. And not only did he turn his back on his house, but the Great Serpent as well. He is a traitor and must be dealt with as such. Victor, surely you don't mean it. He does, Luther. He is allowing his fervent pride and anger to cloud his judgment. What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. First, we lose Vashti to that malignant tearing through Dazra. And now you so willingly offer up Varric, as if our house has not suffered enough loss already. This is not grief. This is betrayal, not only to me, but to our society and the Great Serpent himself. I do not wish Varric dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. And sowing leniency for a house member at a time like this when order is needed most would be unwise. The law. Our work is not so simple, and you know it. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? I will not risk the Ministry's authority on the actions of my own son, even if he is my chosen heir. If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Varric and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My brother is acting under impulse, not reason. I have never been more clear. Speak against me one more time, and you will regret it. Varric has a signet ring with House Vithal's family crest. Bring it to me as proof of death. Only then will I grant you access to the power grid. See that you get it done. I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Varric's associates there may know where he went, but keep in mind anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. Good. And remember, absolute discretion. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric for personal reasons. I will not risk word of his disappearance, getting out before I can say the situation has been handled.
deserve this. <laughs> no. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? You and me both. The worst thing that can possibly happen, happens. And then he disappears. I mean, come on. We're supposed to be friends. Hmm. Is there ever a good reason to abandon your friends? You'd think B would at least be commiserating with me. But I'm suddenly too drunk to deal with. <laughs> Some friend she is. All she cares about is Varric. Right? That's what we do. When we lost people to the so-called incident, we banded together. I just want Varric to show up so things can get back to normal. Whatever that is. Did he trust me? <laughs> I just don't know anymore. I want to help. But I really can't think of anything. Mm. I want to. I really do. I'm trying. Believe me, I am. Wait, wait. I think I remember something now. Tame. He mentioned talking to Tane one day about getting off-world, seeing the settled systems. We never thought he was serious, and even if he wasn't... Hmm. Tane still might know something. Tane's a regular. I'm sure he'll be by any minute if you just want to take a seat. Lot of work to be done, but it'll be done. Some cosa to lift your spirits? The guards overheard my neighbor forsaking the Great Serpent. Hey, aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? Oh, wow. You really bought in, huh? I'm an outsider myself. It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. And proud of it. I've been doting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. But then these people lose half their city and you show up, and suddenly it's divine intervention. It sure has, to say the least. Anyway, enough about that. What can I do you for? That's so. Well, I guess that depends, Vindicator. Who wants to know? Sounds more like an ominous third party if you ask me. Although, let's just say after what went down here, my retirement's looking imminent, and I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. So if you're feeling generous, Maybe we can help each other out. Nice to see we operate on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure he's heading into the highlands. Just not sure where. But I do have the means to track him. So you just say the word and we're off to the races. Oh no. I'm stuck on you until this is over. Let's just say I have an investment to look after. Once we're outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker, and fingers crossed, it'll lead us right to him. Just head out the west gate, should be the fastest route. Can I get you anything?
this. Sorry, Ken. I lost it.
careful. news is my heart didn't give out. All my years and all the planets I've been on, never gonna get used to those things. You got that right. Damn house grown. Wiping out half their city and bringing in whores like these. At least I don't see a body around here, so I hope that means Varric's alive. You find anything? Let's take a look. Looks like he stopped here to patch himself up. He's heading northwest, though, so let's see where that takes us.
That's far enough, strangers. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property uninvited? Well, you won't find him here. This isn't exactly the type of place where house members frequent. I can understand that, but I can't help you. The only people here are my partner Zen and our daughter Mila. No one comes around here. We're isolated, and that's the way we like it. That's... If we lost them, I said we just let them go. Like I said, the only people here are my partner Zen and our daughter Mila. No one comes around here. We're isolated, and that's the way we like it. That's... a generous offer. Irina, are you sure you know what you're doing? Zen, yes, I know quite well. Never mind my partner, they're just overly cautious. As I said before, I've never seen Varric at all. We keep to ourselves, there's no reason for a path to cross. But... We did aid an injured young man a few days ago. 
That's gotta be very. It's too coincidental. It must have been him. We sent him north. There's a long abandoned growth farm we felt he could make use of. He claimed he lost everything in the incident that swallowed half of Dazra. He wanted to start a new life. We even gave him two of our own growths to get started. Thanks for the help. All must serve. All you. I'm just going to keep an eye out here. This unit is performing a please wait, generating suitable greeting. Hello, traveler. Tag me in when you're done in there. I figured you want to speak in private first. Uh, friend's a strong word. More like friendly acquaintances. Guess we both felt the Herald's Rest was one of the few places that made us feel like real people. A couple of drinks and everyone's your friend in that moment. He's a good enough guy, I suppose. A little self-absorbed, spoiled. Growing up in a noble house probably does that to you. A little naive, too. He's got this friend, Bianca. She's crazy about him. But the guy's oblivious. And his friend, Eggy? Guy needs to lay off the Koza. But I heard Varric let him in on his tab. That's gonna work out well. Blames his dad for everything, though. And I get it. Victor Vathal is not an easy man. He's just used to getting his way and the world revolving around him. When you're raised to be elder, that's bound to bring you all sorts of extra attention. So sometimes when hanging around with us peons, he forgets we have our own thoughts and opinions. 
Well, it's Victor we're talking about, so it wouldn't surprise me. But Varric can't see how much effort Victor puts into making sure his son has all the tools he needs to take over. He'll go on these rants of Victor drilling him on scenarios. Stuff makes my brain hurt. But Varric talks about it like child's play. Hey, whatever you want. I've only had a few run-ins with Victor for security purposes, and he's all in. The man embodies House Bethal. He could probably recite Janan's teachings word for word. And he runs the Ministry of State without missing a beat. Strict, demanding, and always watching. The guy's good at his job, but when it comes to personality, I couldn't tell you. Whoever he is, he keeps it close to the chest. Sure thing. Always up for a chat. Hey, whatever you want.
Berg's been busy if he got this much done. Nothing going on out here. How about you? Find anything? Never thought of Beric as the Dear Diary type. Sounds like it's a waiting game, then. It seems I have uninvited guests. You want to explain yourselves? Whoa, 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 hey, it's me. Dang. Put the gun down already. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your friend. I wish I could say I was pleased to meet you, but something tells me this isn't a social call. Please, if you're here on my father's orders, allow me to plead my case. <sighs> I'm glad someone does for once. I am not sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. I was born House Vithal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State, to worship the Great Serpent. But I want none of it. They really got into your head with the whole promise thing. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride and the fear of what it would mean for House Vithal is all he cares about. Shame, embarrassment, fuel for the other houses to ridicule my father. I don't want any of that for him, but he left me no choice. If he would have listened just once, maybe I could have left on good terms with my father's blessing. Control the narrative, as they like to say. But it should matter. All I want is to make my own life. Something Tain understood and was willing to help me with. The credits help too, but yeah, guess you got the whole scoop now. Yeah, I needed a way to find him once he got outside the city. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Beric running off thinking I could just grab him and go. I was also out all the credits he was going to pay me. That's where you came in. I figured, why not two for the price of one? So, now you know my true intentions for leaving, and given the circumstances, I may be here for some time. My hope now is to make the best of it here. I suppose I owe you that much. The truth is, the scaled citadel was the last straw. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. Anasko Varun eliminated half our population in the blink of an eye. My sister Vashti among them. I could no longer live in a society that won't put its people first. That would destroy itself in the name of a god that has done nothing for us. And if Varun society continues down this path, when we bring about our own end, will that faith be worth it? Anasko's experiments, execution punishments, us versus the rest of the settled systems. I hope you can see why I want to walk away from all this. To start my own life. I ask that you give me that chance. No, I can't go back. I want nothing to do with that life. We all know the risks, which makes us good at keeping secrets. 
I know. It does make me reconsider. Wishful thinking. My ideas would be shut down left and right. As I said, there's nothing you could say to make me go back. Please. All I want is to make my own life. To have my own freedom. Whoa, whoa! You're not really gonna kill him, are you? I mean, first of all, are you sure Victor even wants him dead? Orders that you didn't even question. Have you seen the state of this planet? Victor may be out of his damn mind. I had every intention of getting this guy off planet. Am I next on your list? Sure, but I'm just making a point here. This is overboard. Hey, 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 hey. Dane is innocent here. Let the man go. Consider his aid in finding me as a recompense. There's no reason to tell my father. And I think we all know that'd be a death sentence for me if he did. So if you're gonna do this, may as well get it over with now. Name it, and it's yours. The credits are easy, and I'll gladly pay a price for freedom. As for the ring, Vashti gave it to me. It's all I have left of her since the Cataclysm. The disaster took every physical reminder of her except for this ring. Just wiped her from existence. True. It's as if she's looking out for me. One last time. Take it. I'll find solace in the fact that the ring will remain with my family. And now I hope we are done here. Thank you for seeing reason. I owe you both my life and freedom. Now that's over with. I'm gonna hang back here, talk to Varric a bit. Besides, I don't want to be around when you break the news to Victor. Do me a favor and find me at the Herald's Rest when you're done. I owe you my life in more ways than...
Idle hands and minds are where What news do you bring? What have you done, Beric? This blood is on your hands, Victor. I hope you remember this. I have not overlooked your involvement in this. No. It was Verric's choice. He knew the consequences. You were his father. You were supposed to protect him. You think you are doing what is right out of some blind dedication, but you are destroying this house. You already lost one child. You had to murder the other. Victoria! I will not hear any more of this. It is done. Leave us. Oh, I am leaving to mourn my nephew whose memory you disgrace with your very presence. Victoria! Leave her be, Uther. The Great Serpent will guide her. She will understand in time and emerge stronger for it. Indeed it does. Now, only one matter remains to discuss. Did you find anyone who aided my son in his treachery? Good. I also have heard nothing of my son's disappearance, so I appreciate your discretion in this matter. You restored order to this house and have my gratitude. Here, the access code that Ekris needs to connect to the power grid. Now go. I have much to arrange. If only you had allowed Varric to live. Serpent saved Dazra from sin. You will see. We should booby trap the cargo on your ship. I don't trust any of your crew not to steal it. Huh. Glad we got that whole Varric business sorted. Whole thing was starting to be a real pain in the ass. So that's your play, huh? Gassing me up. Eh, I don't care enough to stop you. Anyway, seeing as I don't have a ship, I'm kind of out of a job. So I was thinking, if you're looking for an extra hand, I got two. They both work well enough, I mean, for my age anyway. But fair warning, I can't do all that moving around and trying new things, stuff that the kids do. Because fact is, I'm retired. Not from work, but life. Then we're on the same page. Good. Oh, and one other thing. I've got a reputation. You ask anyone about Tain Salavera, and they'll tell you he's old and lazy and useless with a gun. And I'm here to tell you that's only half true. I am old and lazy, but I'm okay with the gun. Is that sarcasm? I can't tell. I mean, yeah, I don't move much. But I can if I have to. Depends on what's chasing me. Good. I like your hiring style. No interview or background check. 
That's all bullshit anyway, in case you didn't know. Better you just point me to my station so we can get on with it. Guess I'll be heading out. See you later, Captain. I don't need any free drinks from you. It is unfortunate. Nasco's research team rejected Sahima's theories. Ah, did Victor finally relinquish the access code? Ah, excellent. We'll finally have the resources to fully charge the morning device. Now, give me a moment to set up the grid. Inputting the access code. Routing power. <sighs> it is done. Vindicator, will you do us the honor? <laughs> 